Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This taken in at the goal line. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays, they're going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal? End the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. Now a play fake here on first down. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Yeah, big play there. When you have a running back that you can use like a wide receiver, when he has that kind of versatility, you do as they did there. Get him out of the backfield and give those defensive backs something else to worry about. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Back to throw. McMahon. Open man here is Gentry. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Didn't they tell us in our meetings that they needed to account for him on each and every play? You think a guy of his caliber? So how does a guy like him get that wide open? That usually means there's a tire breakdown on what the coverage was. That everyone thought they were doing something and they were supposed to be doing something else. But bottom line is, no matter what, you have to know where he is and cover him on every play. Let's go, baby. Let's Fourth go. quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. They'll run on first down. Peyton, and he's got Rome. And he's taken down inside the 30. And we quickly, this. we're going to get another stop here with 154 left as they call the timeout defensively. Totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They run again with Peyton. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So third and two, and I count six defensive backs out there. Looking to throw. McMahon. And the throw there going to be incomplete. The frustration evident there because he couldn't find anyone on third down, and he left no doubt that he was throwing that one away. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll try and run for it. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. 
Remember, that was fourth and a full two yards. There's a big difference between that and fourth and maybe six inches or a yard. Yeah, you're exactly right, because when it's that six inches, you just fall forward and you pick it up, right? You still quarterback sneak. But having to move bodies, that means you actually have to execute because they know what you're going to do. How are you going to make the right play call and get everyone into the right spot and win at the line of scrimmage? That's what they did there. Just around the corner, they go down to a knee. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn.